Okay, so encryption is now the most powerful force in the world. And um, the the thing is that it is the basis for a new theory of property rights. You know, you go back to Locke and the legitimate state is the one that protects property rights. Now, I'll name a state that doesn't, and that's San Francisco. <laughs> and I'll name a state that does, and that's Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? And uh, so that's really interesting. You would much rather have um, your property on the Bitcoin or Ethereum blockchain than under the tender mercies of the government of San Francisco, which will allow 30,000 car break-ins a year and you can't leave anything outside. Property rights are simply not guaranteed by the state. You know, um, And encryption is not just about property rights, it protects freedom of association. You, know, you can do uh, meetups, communication, hardware development, software development, crowdfunding, you know, remote control of drones and robots, meetups in territory scouted by robots. So um, the full scope of what it means to have truly encrypted networks communicating peer to peer, I don't think people have fully thought through.